Well, we are here at Johnson City Eye Clinic to talk about the latest procedures when it comes to eyelid and eyebrow lifts. We are here now with Dr. Jeff Carlson. And Dr. Carlson, thanks so much for having us out today. It's my pleasure. Well, first of all, give me a little bit of background. Tell us a little bit about yourself for our viewers who may not be familiar. I know you've been here in the area for a while now. <laughs> Well, um, as you mentioned, been in Johnson City for boy, going on 12 or 13 years now. Just love the area. I grew up out west in Idaho and uh, made it here because I love the mountains and have just been uh, wonderfully happy ever since. And helped so many people here in the Tri-Cities. And I know one of the things that you do is a procedure on eyebrows and eyelids. Tell us a little bit about those procedures because I know they're becoming so popular. It is a great procedure. It's a wonderful uh, uh, way to make a big difference in your appearance. When people interact with each other, they spend the majority of their time looking at you in your eyes. So if you're going to spend a little time and investment in rejuvenation, it's really a great place to get a lot of effect and a lot of bang for your buck. So uh, brow lift and eyelid lifts, is, is that's why it's become such a popular procedure. Do they work together as well, or do some patients need just one versus the other? Uh, every patient is different, and there are patients who need just one, but the brow is contiguous with the eye, and so often it works in concert, and a combination or some variation of, a, uh, of addressing both issues is the best way to address a patient's problem. So talk to us a little bit about the specific procedure when you're doing the eyebrow. Well, the brow can be addressed a number of different ways. Uh, you're basically trying to elevate the brow to get it to a more natural position, sitting above the bony orbital rim, which is the top of the eye socket. And we can address it with direct lifts with incisions close to the eyebrow. Um, the more modern techniques involve micro incisions placed behind the hairline so there's no visible incision line. We're able to utilize some modern technology with endoscopes, small cameras to elevate the brow through these micro incisions, which allows a better cosmetic appearance and a more rapid healing time. And I can only imagine that modern technology has made such a difference. It is. It's, a, it's amazing how things progress and uh, in medicine and life in general, technology really has uh, been a wonderful thing. How about the eyelid procedure? How is that different from the brow? Well, focusing on tissue, as we age, we get some loss of elasticity as well as descent. And if you're looking at the heaviness that people get over the brow, if you see tissues where the, the hairs of the brow sit below the bony orbital rim, which sits right here, that's typically addressed by elevating the brow itself. You will also frequently see redundancy of skin in the tissue below the hair of the brow and above the lashes when you have extra skin in that area or protrusion of the fat pads below that give that bulging effect to the lids that can be better addressed with an upper eyelid lift. And we actually have some before and after photographs that we're going to show folks at home. And you can see here, Dr. Carlson, just the difference that it can make in a woman or man's life. I mean, it's a substantial appearance difference. It really is. And because people spend the majority of their time interacting, looking at you face to face, looking at your eyes, as I mentioned, it's a great place to get a lot of, of bang for your buck. And of course, it's not just cosmetic. A lot of these folks, it will actually help them see better. And absolutely. In fact, the majority of patients we work on are functional, meaning that it's affecting their upper fields of vision. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to notice if you manually elevate your lids and brow that it does allow you to see more in the upper fields of vision. So when the droop becomes significant enough that it's blocking and taking away a patient's visual field, then it, it can become a significant functional issue. And one of the things I love about working with you and here at this clinic is that you really walk people through that procedure and, and sit down and do that consultation and get to know them a little bit. Absolutely. That's one of the most rewarding parts of working in medicine is to get to spend that time one-on-one -on -one with the patient. And then afterwards to get to hear their response and their reaction. And from what I hear, it's, it's pretty amazing. That's wonderful, too. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time and talking with us today. It's my pleasure. All right. If you want more information, you can always check out their website or you can visit their location right on MedTech Parkway.